fish one to fish two. What's going on, Antho? Check Twitter. It's the FIFA 17 release trailer. Huh? The FIFA 17 trailer came out. I've gotta go. Actually, can I have a small iced coffee, one Splenda, one cream? Get the recording software ready. We've got a reaction video to make. What do I need to know? The new game run on the Frostbite engine. Frostbite engine? What does that mean? Snow games are gonna be better? Oh my fucking god! It means there's going to be destructible objects. Destructible objects? Fucking airplanes! So you wanna buy packs but you got no coins And you wanna pack bail but you hate FIFA points And you wanna beat your brother with a super fly team But your coin total zero so it's basically a drink New FIFA is the answer to your question Cheap and reliable, the best on the net kids CWE for 8% off Stack them coins and load your squad up What's up big boys and welcome to the reacting to FIFA 17 episode you know when you do an intro and you get bombed by a plane and you fucking cut your head open? In this episode, we're gonna do something that we don't do often, and that's mostly because these sorts of things don't drop often. Yesterday, the FIFA 17 first reveal trailer came out, and there's some pretty cool things in it. Now, a lot of people, there's mixed reviews. Some people didn't like it, it was too short, and it didn't show enough of the gameplay features. Some people liked it for what it, uh, for what it introduced in terms of the Frostbite 3 engine, which is gonna be absolutely amazing. If I'm not mistaken, the 14, 15, 16 uh, versions of FIFA have been running on the Ignite, and then the new one, FIFA 17, is going to be Frostbite, which opens up a whole new world of possibility. Cue a whole new world from Little Mermaid. A whole new world of possibilities from graphical stuff, but most importantly, a lot of the glitchy things we see from gameplay this year might be gone because it's an entirely new uh, graphics engine, which means new physics engine as well. I think. I'm not again. I'm not like a technical person, but I'm pretty sure that's what it means. It's the same engine that Battlefield uh, Battlefront are on as well, so we have that to look forward to. And I fucking love Battlefield, so I can't wait to see what this shit's gonna be about. And yeah, the intro was kind of joking on the fact that in Battlefield you have destructible environments and stuff like that, so we might see. Possibly some of that trickle into FIFA. So what we're gonna do in this episode is watch the trailer together for the first time Just watch it clean through and then the second time we'll try and pick up things Maybe we noticed the first time and then maybe things that we pick up on the second time But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to checking out the trailer I've already seen it, but we're gonna be watching it for the second time together and then a third time as well But anyway boys if you guys are hyped for FIFA 17 hit that like button Let's try and blast 17 likes if you guys want to interact with me on Instagram and Twitter those links can be found in the description below Let me know from the trailer something that maybe I missed that I'm talking about in this video some that maybe you guys caught on or maybe something that you're just excited about for FIFA 17 that's really what this video is gonna be about and I think really that's what the trailer is about just under 55 seconds and uh, I think it was just meant to be a hype thing and certainly it's gotten me hype because you see the new players don't want to give anything away if you haven't seen it yet but there's new players there's just a whole new thing so uh, yeah without any further ado let's get into the video okay so based on what we just saw right there I can confirm that's Xbox one this is like an Xbox one exclusive trailer People say football never changes. EA Sports. It's in the game. Oh shit, I can't hear anything. Sick. The retro stuff is sick. Now, no one, I haven't heard anyone say that there might be a retro game mode in FIFA 17. We that would be FIFA really freaking sick. Awesome. The retro thing is sick. Martial, aka FIFA Manny. Hazard, there's not a YouTuber that looks like him that I know. Reeve HD, aka Royce. And James Rodriguez. Football has football changed. Has changed. Chelsea, big, big chin. Frostbite engine, that's what it's about. Holy shit, that looks crazy. The graphics look insane, boys. That is fucking no Wait, what is that? Become an EA Sports FIFA Insider. Did they have that last year? Full reveal trailer, June 12th. So we have to wait till June 12th for the next thing. Um, but yeah, now let's slow it down a bit. Let's go back, rewatch the trailer, see if there's anything that we might have missed or something that we maybe pick up on. People say football never changes. Mourinho, I didn't say that first time, but I know it's Mourinho. Sports. It's in the game. All right, now let's look at every frame. Okay, so this is the retro stuff. I never played any of these, just for you guys, for your information. The first FIFA I ever played was 2002 for PlayStation. I believe when PlayStation 2 just came out, my first ever FIFA was 2002. I think Thierry Henry was on the cover. Uh, can't confirm, but 2002 was definitely the first FIFA I ever played. So let's keep going. Don't know what teams these are. Could that be blue and white? I don't know, is that like maybe an international match? But anyway, fucking crazy celebration right there. Oh shit, is uh, Ronaldinho, pretty sure that's Ronaldinho, that's Barca. Ronaldinho, and that might actually be Eto with the uh, the yellow thing over his head. They might be playing Real Madrid, but honestly, it's 
difficult to tell from these uh, from these stills. Keeper went the complete wrong. I mean, I guess the the keeper AI is better now, but this guy went the com he dives left. The ball's going right, so he went the complete wrong way. So we can't really talk shit about FIFA uh, keepers in the next gen. They were pretty shit previously as well. Wait a second. What? Wait. What? What the actual shit was that? Did no one see? No, no, no. Hold on a second. Where's that frame? What is that? <laughs> no, I'm not talking about the players on the left. There's like a fucking Ronald McDonald wearing a crown over there. What the hell is that guy actually? I'm thinking maybe that's the German national team versus Brazil. And if so, that's a fucking painful memory. 2002 World Cup was one of the most painful memories I've ever lived. 6 a.m. I had to get up to watch it. I believe it was in South Korea. I had to get up 6 a.m. to watch the final. And I watched Germany just get absolutely trounced. Oliver Kahn, it was one of the worst games that I ever played. It was, I believe, Michael, Michael Balak's last World Cup. I don't think he played in 06. I think he played in the Euro 2004, but that was his last competition. But yeah, the uh, World Cup 2002 final, Germany-Brazil, was not a fun experience for me by any means. Two bald Real Madrid players? Fabian Barthez legend confirmed? Yeah, retro thing is awesome. Retro thing is just absolutely freaking cool. Okay, we got Martial. Looks absolutely amazing. These are the cover stars. We got Eden Hazard. We've got Royce. And then we've got James Rodriguez. Football. Football has changed. Now, regarding the cover stars, some people are complaining, you know, where the hell is Messi? Where's Ronaldo? Where's Bale? You know, where's Suarez or Neymar? Um, I believe Neymar and Bale are had by Pez. Messi, I'm not sure of. I think EA lost his license this year. Ronaldo, I don't think, has ever been on FIFA, if I'm not mistaken. Again, I could be wrong. But, uh, yeah, Ronaldo might also be Pez. I'm not 100% sure. But Royce, Hazard, James Rodriguez, and Martial, all young players, all the future of their prospective clubs, if that makes sense. So I think, uh, yeah, I mean, I have no problems with it. I think Royce is an amazing player, had a down season due to injury. Martial obviously had an amazing season. Eden Hazard, just a year ago, was the player of the year in the Premier League. And then um, James Rodriguez has kind of been off and on. Hasn't had that, like, breakout year, aside from his 2014 World Cup performance, which really elevated him that to that next level. But in terms of the cover stars, I'm fine with it. Harry Kane back at it again with the big chin. What is that, a surgical device to get that chin down? Sick. Stop motion. Now, a lot of people are really, really excited about this, which it looks like it's Mourinho in-game. Some people are saying that it's not going to be Ultimate Team, that this is maybe a career mode thing, but it actually would be pretty cool if an Ultimate Team, instead of like a static manager that's sitting there looking like a freaking creeper, if you could actually interact with the manager. Like, what if you scored a goal and you could go freaking celebrate and dance with like Pardew doing the salsa or some shit like that? That would be fucking awesome if freaking Pardew did the salsa. Dude, he needs to go to the dry cleaner and get that de-wrinkled, but that looks freaking sick. Hazard looks like he passed out drunk and his friends went to town with a Sharpie on his face. Now, this particular image is stirring up a lot of controversy. People think it's Martial. But obviously, it doesn't say Martial on the back. But I think what it is, and we were talking about it in the Discord call the other day, me, Bates, and Nep. Um, Nep and Bates, I believe, uh, think that it says Man United. Like, it doesn't spell it out, but it's like abbreviated Manchester United, if that makes sense. So people think that's what that is. Freaking Frostbite Engine, bros. Looks absolutely amazing. And this, honestly, this looks like a man that needs to be rescued in a freaking Call of Duty mission right here. But seriously, though, the graphics look absolutely insane. Look at that. That looks real life. The first time I saw this, I thought this was actually Hazard, real life looking up at the camera. But, I mean, obviously, that's stupid. This is the actual Frostbite engine of his face. Sick. June 12th. Okay, so we get another one June 12th. Become an EA Sports FIFA Insider. We saw that at the beginning. That is the trailer, boys. And if I'm being honest with you, if I was giving that a Rotten Tomato score, I would give it an 83 percent just because it did what it was meant to it's it, you know it told us that it's going to be on the frostbite 3 engine which is confirmed and then it's just showing a couple things it's like you know Mourinho, possibly something to do with manager a career mode uh new graphical stuff um it hid some of the player faces like james and martial we didn't see their faces in game um and then what else is there the retro stuff i don't know if they did have a retro game mode within fifa 17 that would be absolutely incredible you know what i mean like instead of mini games or in addition to mini games have like retro games I mean, in theory, it'd be sick to go all the way. Like, if you could play every installment of FIFA up until FIFA 17, that'd be incredible. But even if they had just, like, FIFA 2002 as a playable version, or, like, a FIFA 98 or something, that would be freaking incredible. But anyway, boys, that is my reacting to the FIFA 17 trailer. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Again, somewhat of a different video. Usually it's gameplay packs or something else. But this doesn't happen often, and I decided I would do a reacting video. A lot of other people have done reacting videos. Really, really good reacting videos. So, um, yeah, if you want more informative stuff, maybe check out Mad HD Gamer, Bateson, or Nep. They all did really, really good stuff on there really looking forward to june 12th getting the next taste of what is to come for fifa 17 if you guys did enjoy the episode hit that like button if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below i will see you guys for another upload tomorrow till next time choose oh by the way yeah fatal probably tomorrow till next time boys choose later i did <laughs> ladies and gentlemen thank you for being here and welcome to the manchester united ibra press conference Bless
If you have any questions for Mr. Ibrahimovic, now would be the time to ask. Game